Good afternoon, Tony Dottino here with you, and I'm happy to announce that our registration is now open for our 23rd USA Memory Championship. What you need to do is go into the USA Memory Championship website, and you'll find the link there to register and put your applications in. We'll be having the qualifying uh, events uh, with uh, similar to what we did last year with Memory League being uh, our host of some of the games and Lumosity, and that will be done on July 30. And uh, we'll have people compete virtually so that we maintain, uh, still maintain some of the safety precautions and things for COVID. And then we will take 12 people from that and we will invite them to a live event on October the 1st. So I was going through some of those uh, arrangements today and just thrilled to have our first registration already submitted. So uh, we're off and going for 2022 and our 23rd USA Memory Championship. So we started this in 1997 and we've had hundreds and hundreds of mental athletes and compete from throughout the years and was having a meeting with a CEO today who was thinking of setting up in some of the local schools that we have here in Orlando mental athletes clubs and thinking of post class activities and setting up mental athletes clubs as something that distinguishes that school and those students from other schools and students so that when they're looking for uh, applications to their, their most wanted college or they're looking to distinguish themselves from something unique and different. Uh, he thought that the memory championship would certainly be something that would be unique and distinguished uh, since there's not thousands and thousands and thousands of kids that are joining mental athletes clubs. And yet the, the CEO felt that it was a clearly unique factor and a, a distinguisher of students uh, in their curriculum and in their academic studies that could differentiate them when they were applying to college. And so we were talking about here in Orlando how could we set up different uh, schools to create mental athletes clubs and then go in and do some, some training of what the basic techniques are and get them ready for this year's competition. So it was a fun meeting, good conversation, which then brought me to talking about students and adults that have been through the USA Memory Championship in the past. And I started off with the number of students that have come out of the memory competition that have gone off to medical school and got interested in neuroscience and the study of the human mind and memory and now have gone through years of uh, school and college and are just beyond what they thought they would ever do. Uh, it's what we call being the best version of themselves in doing something that they never thought possible. Uh, I thought of, uh, of uh, one of the school kids was a wrestler and uh, needed to improve his grades and see if he can get a scholarship to schools and uh, keep his academic performance up. And off he went and went through college and became one of our superstars in the USA world of, of memory. Uh, our five-time winner, Nelson Dellis. God, my goodness, Nelson. Uh, never thought of himself as an A or a B student, but uh, he got through school, got through college, uh, entered the memory championship because of his um, grandmother and the worry about Alzheimer's and started learning all about the human mind and picked memory as one of his topics. He's a mountain climber. Uh, he's a professor at the university and uh, became a memory champion, uh, entered the competition and you follow Nelson's scoring throughout the years and it just got better and better and he's now a, our only five-time USA memory champion which then followed up a gentleman that had cancer started practicing memory techniques because one of the things research is showing today got Scott Hadwood way ahead of himself because the research today is showing when you're going for chemo treatments and things it has some impact on cognitive function so Scott Hadwood started chemos, and this is now 20 years ago. And, and, and Scott uh, was going through chemo, and they, it was recommended he start learning how to improve his memory or take memory skills, and picked up a book from Tony Buzan. And the next thing, Scott is entering the competition, and he won. And he won four years in a row. So 
there's an example of somebody looking at his life and saying, my goodness, what can I do differently? How do I uh, improve my brain? How do I enhance my brain fitness and practice the techniques and became a fourth time champion, wrote a book and moved on to a career of teaching people how to improve their memory. So uh, I could go on and on and on. Chester Santos, the international man of memory. I think of Chester and what he's done as he's told me uh, uh, many occasions. He's been to more countries and he's been to more palaces than he ever, ever would have thought possible. And he's met more people in his world of memory than he ever would have thought uh, that was possible. Uh, Ronnie White, a military guy from the Navy, who comes out and says, hey, memory techniques helped me train people through what, the, what they needed to remember, names of faces, faces of people, their enemies, and how to stay safe and alive in battle and things of that sort, and entering the competition and winning it uh, several times. And the list just goes on and on with people that have come into the competition just trying to see how good was their memory, and believing and believing in the fact that I could learn some skills. There are mnemonics and methods and systems and techniques that people can learn and practice and utilize, and what a difference that's made in their lives. And so here are people that over the years have come, competed, and uh, have come out of it in, with a whole different life. So from students to adults of all ages, the benefits to this have just been amazing to me. And why do I keep doing this and looking for sponsors and looking for people to be a part of it is because I've seen over the 22 years the difference it's made in people's lives, and that's what keeps me going. As long as I can make a difference in my purpose, right? We talk about purpose. My purpose in life is to make a difference in people's lives, be able to touch them in some fashion to let them become the best version of themselves. Let them see that they can do something they never thought possible. And that's enough of energy and fuel for me that just keeps me going, keeps me motivated, keeps me chugging along to just say, man, if I can make a difference in people's lives, man, I want to keep on going. I want to keep on moving the ball and seeing how I can make a difference in lives of people that I touch through the USA Memory Championship, through the uh, work we do on the elements of brain fitness, through uh, leadership skills and what do we need to know about humans in order to really bring the best of themselves to the table. And that's, that, that's what keeps me going. So I'm excited that we now have our website up and going. Uh, we have our partners uh, organized and ready to go. And uh, we have our first registration for 2022's USA Memory Champion. And I'm looking to get lots more as we get this out and publicize it and go look at our website, USA Memory Championship. Uh, I'm looking to get more and more people, especially since we can do the qualifying events virtually and the Memory League games and the uh, uh, Lumosity games are familiar to people. So I'm not asking them to do something that, that's foreign to them or crazy. And we arrange to get them uh, into their, those sites so they can practice. And um, it's already now at the end of February. It's hard to believe, end of February, we're already approaching uh, March, and our event is going to be July 30. So excited to announce that and uh, ripping and ready to go. And with that, we have uh, an online course, Maximum Memory Mastery, that people can go look at and study or take a crack at and see how they too can improve their own memories, given the fact that we now have. 20 years of experience that we've been able to bake into a online course that can make a huge difference in people's lives in terms of their memory. And we now have the second uh, follow on to that, the six elements of brain fitness that will package into the, to that. And